everyone. This is Tabitha with Haystack Creations. I want to jump on here and show you my latest uh, journal that I have done. And this is for the uh, collab that has been going around for um, Blonda Arrow and Kara Brandon's Creations. Uh, look at these kits. They had designed two kits um, and combined them in this collaboration. So you've got two designers here, Londa Arrow right here with 16 pages. And you've got Kara Brandon uh, Creations with uh, 16 pages. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at this. I mean, purple. You've got your lavender, your laces, your butterflies, and your birds. I mean, it's gorgeous. You've got your uh, little neutral tones. I just love this. I really absolutely had fun with this one. So this is what I created. This one here, um, it's a, of course, it's a journal, but on the back part of it, I have put a folio in there as well because they did a challenge. And um, I'm sure if you guys have been following, you've known um, I did a folio. And um, anyway, I got my folio finished and I wanted to be able to put this all together um, for my design team project for Line.Arrow. So this is what I did. Here it is. I did the um, the removable signatures with the elastic spine. I did that. And then I took some uh, fabrics and seam bindings and I did some little gold buttons, four gold buttons going down the middle of the... Um, the, the spine there and I've tied it with just a piece of lace and it's, it's fabric um, I used fabric and it's blue is picking up all the lint <laughs> but anyway I used fabric blue fabric and then um, I sewed around some of this uh, the kit the, pa the papers and then I did a little placard like right there and we got journal and I used some uh, and that's seat binding or um cheesecloth but anyway here's what I did so this right here the closure is just like I said it's just a piece of lace and I used a piece of burlap like ribbon and to be able to put this on here and hold it I used two stick pins or like the hat pins um, that you would make someone had gifted that to me aren't they beautiful look and um, I wanted to use them in this because I thought that they would hold my little bow together so here they are. Um, they are, I did put, have some little stoppers, you know, on there. That way they, they don't poke you and everything. So we got that. And there's, there's one. And there's the other. And see, just the bow lays right there on it. So that's what was holding all that together right there. And um, yeah, so there's that. And when you untie it, now she's a chunky little thing. So get ready. She's full, 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 full. But okay, so here we go. I got a little butterfly on the front and uh, some hand dyed um, lace. You open it up and I've got a CD cover with uh, some little ruffle lace or, you know, ruffle fabric that I put on there. And then um, I sewed around some cards or tags decorate it up a little bit and then every page is sewn around except for like the hand dyed like the coffee stain papers and stuff i didn't sew around those but um there we go aren't they just gorgeous look at that like you, you just kind of don't want to cover it up so my thought was you know some little paper clips you know that you could do or just tuck a little bookmark in there or put your letter in there and close it you know but it gives you a pretty place same here I got a pocket a little corner pocket this right here is basically it's a little cluster but I didn't want to put it on the edge so I stuck it in the pocket and so I put it there and there's another tag like I said all the tags you can write on here's some uh, coffee stain paper that I did and then you've got this is a little waterfall I uh, not for sure really what I'm going to put here but I'm going to put something right here so there will be something there. I just don't know what yet. But when you flip it up, you've got a tag here that you can journal on. And you have flip it up and you got another tag. 
flip it up in another tag and then this back part I just took a tab card and I cut it in half and then I put some um, tissue on it and everything and then I stamped with my Tiffany stamp over it I used one of the stamps that's in the kit and then I just stamped it with my regular little uh, stamp stamp and then I put a little tab on it and there we go I made a little journaling card so we've got that okay open it up and then you got um, three more tickets or three more column tickets they're tags right here right on the backs of them this one's got a button and some sorry silk and they are tucked in a library card that I put um, a little cluster on. There we go. And this right here is just a book page pocket. Let me see if I can get that. And just I put some little uh, ephemera that was in the kit. I'm just going to set those aside. And there's some more. And, of course, you can journal on the back of those. And then this right here is a little like envelope, but I didn't use it as envelope. I just used it as a little hideaway place to where you can write on. And I left it alone. I didn't put nothing on it. Um, got a little strip of some dyed paper. And you've got another little piece of um, digi that you can write on. And I love this. I love uh, coffee staining that elementary paper. And um, I think that makes a great addition. And you got your little book page pocket with a little belly band. A cluster with a Tiffany stamp. Right there. Isn't that pretty, that butterfly? Oh, this page. I just love it. Okay. And then this one here, of course, y'all know I like this because that's in my cover. And then I put an envelope here, and I don't have anything in it, but you can tuck something in right there. I did a cluster with a piece of card, corrugated cardboard. And um, I put some um, cheesecloth behind here that I hand dyed. And then I uh, waxed it with some beeswax. And it gave it a really good feel. I mean, it feels really good. And it really made the cardboard look, I think, amazing. Which I like vintagey, grungy. And I think that that really did. And I, I think that it went well with this. But I don't know if you can see the, um, the shine. But anyway... It, and when you feel it, it, it feels nice. And the same with this one. I did the same way. Um, it really, that beeswax on the cheesecloth really, you know, it makes it kind of, you know, it makes it hard. And I really like that. But um, there's another, that back side of the envelope. Got a page. I found this lace in my stash. And I thought, you know, it's lavender and lace. So it's a piece of lace and it's got leaves on it. So I'm just going to stick it on the page. It's the only piece I had. And I think it's beautiful. Look at it sparkle. And then here, we've got two tags and a corner pocket. And here we've got um, a tag or a, a pocket that um, has four slots in it. So I'm just going to pull them out real quick. And you can see the, the four little pockets right there. And I, of course, put a little cluster, you know, decorated it. And each tag, of course, you can journal on the back of. And this one here, I made a big tag with um, a piece of scrap that I had from the kit. And um, I like the bingo, so I wanted the bingo card there. So let's stick those back in here. And then, of course, I put the little toppers on. So you got different colors of little toppers. And then that's the first signature. Second one, here we go. Now this one here, I didn't really put a lot of pockets on because you can write on a lot of these pages here. A little cluster here, and it's got a little um, dangle on it. And then you got this page. Another piece of the corrugated cardboard with a cluster on it. That button, doesn't it look real? Well, that's in the kit. It is not a real button, but I love the way it looked with that beeswax on it and all. And um, I made a little corner pocket or a little tuck. And then there's the back piece of that time card that I used before. I thought, well, we'll just stick it in there. And then I put some tissue up here just to kind of, you know, give it a little bit of something because it was just, I don't know, it looked, I liked it. <laughs> so here we go. Another uh, 
corrugated cardboard with the beeswax on it. I'm telling you guys, if you've not ever tried it, y'all need to try it. It is fun. I love it. I love it. But here we go. This here is my favorite page. Look at that. So that is the middle of my book. And I, I love that right there. And here's where you can remove all these signatures. All these pages can be pulled out, rearranged the way you want it, taken out, add something else in it, or just leave it and tuck something else in it. There's plenty of room to do that. And um, I really had enjoyed doing the spine like this. So there we go. That's just beautiful. That ledger. I just love it. I really do. Um, great job. Great job. And then here I put some more tissue that I dyed. I uh, put it on the edge there to give it a little color. You know. So like I said, a lot of room for uh, writing. Here is a little... Um, Oh, puzzle piece that I put on there that do a little dangle with a pearl and it goes with the, you know, I use the digis to alter it. This here is a little card that is some ephemera. I put a little nest on it with some little pearls and um, I thought it would be cute there with the little birds. I, I just love that. And the little butterfly with the pearl in it and some little ephemeras tucked in there. This is not a pocket. It's just part of the page. And just to give it some little bit of ump there. And there's that. We've got here in that beautiful look. I just love that little girl. I just really love her. And then this right here. I love this page too. So it was hard for me on where I wanted to put this stuff. But like I said, all these pages are removable because you've got the, you know, the removable, uh, the little spandex or the little elastic, you know, spine. And then a piece of lace and right there. Now we're at the end of the signatures and you could always do another one. There's still room for another one because I didn't know what I was going to do. And um, I was going to have just signatures and not put my folio in it. Then I thought, well, you know, I really want my folio to be seen because I really do love my folio. And um, anyway, here we go. Here comes the folio. Let me move all this stuff out of my way. Um, I put it here and it's just held by a piece of uh, seam binding right there on that right there. And I may change this so I don't have anything on the back side yet because I'm, I'm just I'm wanting to put something there and I don't know really what I want to put. But when you open it up, you've got this little flap here and that pretty oh, the music, the butterflies. And there's where I got the blues and. You know, some of the purples have, you know, they've got blues throughout the kit and the purples and blues. I just love it together. And um, you open it up and it was a it was an envelope and I made a little pocket here and I made a little tuck here. And of course, you can always add more in it. And there's that page again, that uh, ledger page. Close that, flip it open again, and you've got another little waterfall. With the here, you got a pocket with, um, oh, look, isn't you cute? You've got a pocket here with a tag, and you got another one with a picture and a tag, and then you got plenty of journaling space. And over here, you got two pockets that you've got something to add to, add more to it, or you know, just leave it and journal on it. But that's it for that part. And then you close it back up, and you're going to flip it open this way. You've got you a big long pocket here that you can tuck a letter in or something like that. And then here you've got a um, little spot here, a little hidden place. You untie it. And when you open it up, you've got three little pockets. And each pocket has a tag that you can journal on. And of course, you can add more to it. But I just thought that that was so pretty. Done like that. And of course, you can journal back here on this back side here. And I'll. So we got that, and I thought it would look really nice on this card. Really nice. On this part. Okay, so there you go. Open it up, and you've got another little flap here that opens up that you can journal on. And you have a, t a big tag in a pocket that um, it's lace. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. But in person, you can really see the lace, and it's a vellum pocket. So there's that. And then you've got your journal on the back. Close that up, and we're going to flip it open. You've got another pocket here. 
that holds a bingo card. And of course, you can add a letter or something in it. And here, I then took that apple out. But you've got um, a pocket here in the bag. And you've got a pocket here behind here. Plus, you've got a pocket behind here. Oh, there's all the stuff. <laughs> there's all the stuff that went in it. So here's your pocket. I knew I've had something in it. And then there's um, just a little uh, receipt right there. And then I had this one up here. That's how I had it. And also there's that section over here. It's kind of like this is a, a book in a book because right now there is another one page signature like book. And it's also held by elastic to where you can take the pages out, add what you want to, put you, put you another type of file folder or something like that in it if you wanted to. But here's the cover to it. Isn't it pretty? The birds. I just love the birds. And this time of the year, you know, spring, the birds tweeting. I love it. And um, flip it open, and you've got this right here, another bird. Isn't that pretty? You open it up, you've got a side pocket right here. It's an envelope, and then you've got a pocket here. Plus, you got a pocket back here. And like I said, all that, you know, you can journal on. Okay, now my um, folio here, my little journal inside my folio is made with that Amazon envelope. So whenever you open it up, set it up, you've got another a card in a hidden pocket right on top so there's a pocket up here and it's a long pocket and it's pretty it's it's pretty wide and you can stuff a lot of stuff in there so that you've got that and then you here's the tag that i have on it i put a hymnal on the back and it's low ho a rose or blood i don't know what this is but anyway you got that and i put a little piece of fabric on top there and i like it hanging up at the top and then here comes the signature. This is a naked page the signature. There is nothing on it. All they are is just a bunch of journaling space. So uh, these are some papers that I got from a, a dear friend, Stephanie Davis, that she had coffee dyed, and I really loved them. And I put them in here. So I thought this would be a perfect little place to, you know, store your, your thoughts and stuff in. And um, I did sew the signatures this signature together so if you move, pull it out they all come out but you can take them out and add single pages or just add you some more you know pages right in here so that, that's your choice but there's that and then you come to the back side here of the little journal part and um it's another cd that i coffee stained and everything sewed around and put a little picture i love that picture and then I put some more tags in here. And of course, you can journal on the back of them. And then up here is the back side of your little folio book. And it holds another tag. And it's a pretty big, deep pocket. You know, I don't know how well you can see there. It's a big, deep pocket. So you can put letters, envelopes, long envelopes, too, because this time card is long. And this was the first time card I ever did. And I was really happy with the way that it turned out. And um, I thought it would be really pretty. It's got the birds on it. And you've got your bingo numbers. You've got your little lady and your little tickets and your little measuring tape. That flower. I love those scrappy flowers. And then I just put a little paper tab. Just a piece of paper. Uh, like one of the pieces of ephemera I just folded over and stapled it on. But that goes down here. You've got your guest checks down there. Hmm. I just love it. And it slides nicely, nicely down in that pocket right there in the back and guys that is the end of the folio right there and this is the end of my book it's pretty pretty big so i'm gonna i'm just gonna close it all back up and i still got that stuff to put in it but i'll do that later not why i got y'all on here but anyway this has been a very fun kit to play with and um i really really enjoyed it and i think that it was really fun and i really like the spine it's kind of wonky but i'm thinking birds and nest and blowing lavender and you know and i thought how how free is that you know it's just i love it 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 but anyway there you go guys there is my flip through and i will put the links in the description that way you can go check out this kit because our kits because they're gorgeous i mean absolutely gorgeous and um 
if you happen to create something, I'd love to see it. So um, anyway, there you go. And thank you. This has been a fun uh, design team project for me. I love the purples and uh, shades of purples and the blues and the birds and the butterflies. So this was gorgeous lavender and lace. So anyway, guys, I'm getting off here. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.